Hey, what's up guys? Disney Nuts here. How are you guys doing? Today, I'm going to show you how I shot and edited this. Okay, pretty cool right now. This is actually using a technique called bracketing and I've actually done a couple of videos of this before where we combine uh, three photos to make one. And the reason that we're combining three photos is because as you can see uh, the center of the photo, which is where the neon is, is very bright. And when it comes to uh, trying to process this photo, if the neon is very bright, some of the other stuff will come out overexposed. So that's where we then we take three shots and we uh, combine them together and the software, which is gonna be uh, Lightroom, which is the one that we'll be using, will do the magic for us. Let's talk about equipment. Now, as for my camera, I have the Canon 80D, which is what I use, um, uh, my only camera actually that I have. And for the lens, we're gonna be using an ultra wide angle, which is this one, which is the Sigma 10 to 20. And what I love of this lens is that it's really wide, so you can get a lot in the frame, even though you're, uh, if you're close to, to the object that you're shooting. And since this is a crop sensor, well then uh, you know it's closer than what it really is compared to other cameras like full frames and other stuff like that. So again, Canon 80D and uh, lens, which is my Sigma 10 to 20. Now as for settings, we're gonna be shooting manual mode. And the reason for that is that I wanna be able to control all three settings of the camera of the exposure that we're taking. In this case, we're gonna be setting the ISO to 100 and we're gonna be setting the F-stop to the widest possible, which what the lens provides in this case is 3.5. And then we're gonna be adjusting the shutter speed according to what the exposure indicator tells us. Now for this type of shot, one thing that I did have to do with the exposure indicator, I did have to somewhat ignore it and go backwards where I underexposed the photo because I wanted to make sure that the part that was the neon was uh, perfectly sharp. Now I'm gonna show you how the photo looks when you follow the exposure indicator. You can see that the camera's trying to do its best, but it's going to show as it's blown out. Okay, so one cool thing that the Canon camera has is actually the ability to do the bracketed shots for you. And what I mean by that, that if, for example, if I press the um, shutter halfway, you'll see where the exposure indicator in the middle will tell me where it needs to be. Now, the, um, with the Canon camera, if I hit the Q button and I tap on the exposure indicator, I could then roll my um, shutter button or the one that uh, controls all the functions that we have in the front. And you'll see it's gonna put three lines. And what that means is it's gonna take three shots one underexposed, one uh, correctly exposed, and one overexposed. Okay, now um, you can set your camera to do five, seven, some cameras have even more brackets, but I found with three, it's more than enough for me. Okay, now one thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna make take the first three shots with the exposure indicator in the middle, which means it's going to uh, try to take the best shot in the middle and then eventually underexpose a little bit and overexpose a little bit. Now, moving this dial, you're going to see as the top here um, goes downwards, which means it's going to underexpose. And what I want to do is actually shoot something very well underexposed because I want to make sure that the neon comes out fine because that way I make sure that the neon comes out good in the photos. And so we'll have probably six photos. And again, feel free to, you know, tinker with this a little bit, take a couple of shots, uh, maybe over, or we want a couple set under here. And so, you know, nothing wrong with that. Again, this is digital photography, so we can always delete the stuff that we that we don't like. Okay, so with that said, let's go ahead to Lightroom and let's go edit the photos. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about editing the photos. Okay, so here we have Lightroom open and you can see we have six photos and these are the two sets of photos that I took uh, with the uh, doing the bracketing on it. And there's uh, each bracketing was actually uh, three photos and I did two of them. Now, this was the normal one. As you can see, this is photo number uh, one, two, and three, okay? And then I have the other set of photos, which is where I underexposed, which are this one, which is one. And you can see where I made sure that the sign in the middle comes out uh, as it should. But obviously you see all, the, all around that it's all dark, so. And then here's number two, which is a little brighter, and number three. Um, actually, this is number two, I'm sorry, two. This is one, two, and three. Okay, but still you can see uh, the sign is starting to get blown out uh, even when I did this set of bracketing shots, but it, I can mix uh, as many shots from different brackets uh, as I want. So I'm going to actually grab this one and I'm going to mix it with this one from my other set. Now it's important that if you're using a tripod uh, that you take a couple set of photos like this, but do not move the camera because you don't want it to uh, to lose its spot because it will make it difficult when you try to do the merging. Okay, so in Lightroom, what we're gonna do, we're gonna select these two photos. 
I'm gonna right click on any of them and I'm gonna go here to photo merge and I'm gonna hit HDR and it's gonna come up with a preview okay here we go now this looks pretty good and just simply using two photos now again uh, you want to try and play you know with different combinations of photos to see which gives you the best result but I think we got really lucky on this one this looks really good as it is and so we're going to go ahead and hit merge and uh, the good thing of this is actually that since we're using raw files which allows us to get some really good details it's actually going to create a HDR file in raw format so with that it'll, it'll allow us to go in and do you know edit a bunch of really cool stuff in there so Okay, so here's our photo as it came back after Lightroom has processed just those two photos. And uh, some of the settings are already going to be in here because uh, Lightroom will try to adjust it accordingly. Now I'm going to bring the highlights down a little bit um, to somewhat uh, that you can see that this somewhat defines itself a little better. But with the moment that I do that, you're going to notice that the whole photo is going to go uh, a little bit darker, which is not what we want. So what I always recommend people when you're editing these types of photo is first think of the whole image and then go inside and, and tweak the little details. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, put this back as it was or everything else uh, somewhat looks better. We can actually bring up the uh, um, exposure a little bit, uh, you know, pop a little bit of the white here, um, do a little sharpening. You know, again, these are all settings that uh, it's your preference. But again, what we're doing here for the first step is actually just trying to make it all balanced. You know that it all looks uh, you know even okay now that we got this we're actually gonna go in and fix the spot of the middle uh, which we're going to come here and use our brush and with the brush we're going to select the highlights and we're going to make sure that it's more or less like uh, 60 minus 50 percent and then we got to make sure also that the brush size here which is a um, the size here we're going to put it that's you know pretty the size is pretty it's okay just a 20 something and then flow we're going to put it around 4650 so it's you know pretty uh pretty pretty well the the impact is going to be doing okay so if you see that i move the mouse over the middle it's going to bring down the highlights only of what i'm painting and i can always hit the letter o to see what exactly i'm painting and if i hit the o again you'll see that it'll turn off the highlight and you'll see that it's going to bring uh that center really cool it's going to now looks looks perfect okay so there's other settings there if you wish to do um you know again these settings are uh, whatever you feel you want to add to the photo and again use these tips as a base you know try not to exactly copy what you see here try adding your own twist to it and remember because um, if it's good it's good okay some people like to add in uh, some beignet you know if you want to add a beignet to somewhat try to highlight the center here it is and uh, there you go and that's how we take this photo and that's how we edit it Okay guys, so that's it. That's the video for today to show you how I shot this. Hopefully you can use these techniques when you visit uh, Walt Disney World and shoot something similar to this where there's a lot of neon and lights and stuff like that. And hopefully you can use these techniques to master those shots. And again, make sure to make those shots your own because that's what makes Disney photography fun. Until the next time, stay awesome. See ya.